Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Unhuntables with myself and Grossy Grossy Coin Hunts. Hello. So today we're looking through 5p coins, looking for NIFCs, territory coins, other interesting oddities that might turn up in our 5ps. There's a listing down, a listing? There's a list of what we're looking for down in the description of this video if you want to see what the key dates that we're looking for are in this video. Um, but no, 5p's, go on then Grossy, every time we look at 5p's you've got to have it's, a moan. It's always 5p's, <laughs> my least favourite, they're so small and fiddly. Whoever designs them deserves to hunt through nothing else apart from 5p's for the rest of their lives. There we go. But we could find some cool stuff, couldn't we? We could find an NIFC or a 2008 rotation error. Or, I think I'd be quite excited to find one of the new definitive 5Ps as well. Yeah, I think cool. it Obviously, it's not quite as exciting as an NIFC, but it would be up there in terms of... I, I, I was thinking, I was talking about this in um, a recent video, uh, finding your first coin of a new coin series, whether that's a common coin or... Um, we don't know the mintage figure for it, for example. Uh, it's really exciting to find that first coin still, isn't it? Definitely. More than just that, it would be the first of like any of the other denominations with King Charles on. At the moment, it's just yeah. 50p's with Charles on. So, yeah, yeah. that's it. Because I've just recently, I think it went up, up, the video would have gone up yesterday as of uploading this video. Uh, I found my second Atlantic Salmon Definitive 50p. Yes, you're a copycat because I found my second one in my live stream last week <laughs> there we go <laughs> although i probably recorded my 50p hunt before your live stream so technically you are uh, somehow sneakily looking at my video <laughs> files and then co and then copying me yeah no, so, <laughs> it's what so, my is. always exciting um yeah and you always just wonder whether it's going to have that preview mark on it or if it's going to be like 2024 dated yeah i must admit it's not got to the point where that's the like the hope for it. it like when you see a shakespeare tragedies you hope for the edge inscription error uh, or the lord kitchener you hope for that mule it's still yeah. exciting enough just to find that Atlant atlantic salmon 50p oh yeah definitely I, I just love it the fact that they're so hard to find it just makes it fun you know they're so hard to find right now yeah uh, i still so we covered this in the last one huntables <laughs> that it seems that the mintage figure won't be five million but we have no idea what the mintage figure is going to be i still of a, um, of a mind again I am the skeptic whenever it comes to coins and things I've kept mind of course until the mint figures come out just in case but I think what easily what we could be seeing is just that first tranche of them coming out from the mint like yeah. we did when diversity of Britain came out they released was 1.25 million but 11 million in total would, would come out I think it was two and a half million was it something like that yeah yeah that, that sounds more more like it but uh, yeah so uh, I, I will wait for the mintage figures to come out uh, before I, I'm not even going to try and guess or make an assumption. Be, uh, um, we'd kick ourselves if we didn't check the mintage figures now just to make sure they haven't come out. No, come they on <laughs> How often do you check the raw mint mintage figures page? Probably about once a week. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't bother because, well, because I know when the mintage figures come out, I will be bombarded by people telling yeah, but me. If everyone Every had time... that mindset, then no one would know. Well, I, I don't need to work. Well, I know that it's not. It, it's just. It, I know this is just my mindset. Every time there is a new coin that comes out, the amount of people that message me to tell me, "Have you seen this new coin? Have you seen this new coin?" It's like, yep. Yeah, I appreciate the message. Just in case I've missed out on something, but uh, yes, I was aware of that coin coming out. Don't worry. Yeah. But th th that being said, you don't have to not tell me when you see some exci exciting coin news because uh, uh, I, I am I am never mean when someone sends me a message to say, "Have you seen this?" because I might not have seen it, so I appreciate being yeah. people trying to keep me in the loop. Uh, speaking news, actually, again, this is not my topic, but uh, uh, I got onto the Sun online newspaper. Is it a newspaper that's online? Oh, I saw that with your Olympics, yeah. Yeah, with Britannia Coin Company. We were um, talking a bit about the Olympic 50Ps, something I have been thinking about, uh, because with the 2024 Paris Olympic Games on the very near horizon, um, it could stoke some more interest for the current circulating 50p's um, I'm, I, I don't know whether it will but it could do um, especially I think if the new Olympic Team GB 50p goes into circulation um, that could really help uh, boot, well, not that Olympic 50p's need help because they are still already a, a sought after desirable coin but um, I think if it goes into circulation that would uh, really go some ways to helping people maybe start collecting more coins as well yeah definitely i think uh, it'd be interesting to see because the olympics are uh, they're so hard to find anyway so you'd have to wonder whether more people would have them to sell compared to what they already do i don't know maybe 
interesting yeah the, the one thing I, I, I did um, when I saw the article and I pointed out and it's been passed on as feedback, I don't know if they fixed it on the news article, um, that uh, they were talking about the aquatics with the lines over the face uh, and they used a picture of the standard aquatics Olympic 50p, <laughs> which is I think not when helpful. I looked at it, it did have the correct picture on it. But yeah. Oh, they've corrected that. That's a good thing because, again, that, it's a frustration I'm sure anyone <laughs> who's worked in the industry will know um, we have the amount of times we get people saying I've got the Olympic aquatics with the lines over the face oh that's cool yeah send me a picture or they pull out their little coin book to show and there's no lines over the face and it, baff it baffles me somewhat you've literally called it aquatics with the lines over the face and there are no lines over the face of the just coin just get your little sharpie out and just start drawing the lines yeah over. exactly that's what it makes you feel like or it's the, the, the perennial one is I've got an undated 20p um, and you have a look at it it's like there's a date there oh okay <laughs> It's not an undated it's 20p. On the other side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, that, that is again. Um, I'm sure if you talk to your coin dealer, if you have a coin dealer, that uh, there would be similar complaints. It's the same that we see with them. Um, oh, I have a mint error. Oh, do you really? Do you really have a mint error, or have you <laughs> have you seen one of these stupid eBay postings or one of these nonsense news stories about um, I don't yeah. know a bit of cut error or the per member or? To be honest, I just honestly ignore all of these news articles about coins. I'm not saying everyone else should, but it's like whenever you are, I wouldn't necessarily go as far as to say I'm a specialist in coins, but I'd certainly say that you and me know more than the average person yeah. would. It's just with anything, if you're a specialist, you can't read news articles because they're always going to be wrong in certain ways. That there's always going to be yeah. discrepancies that. that I must admit, my, what what brings my attention to them is because I know the kind of person that's going to click on that and could be fooled by it is a new, new novice collector, and you yeah. don't want those people getting the wrong information and then going and buying things that aren't worth as much as they uh, aren't worth as much as they think it's worth. Yeah. Um, like I said, I've said it a billion, billion times. If you have a news article saying this coin's worth a thousand pounds. And then you ha and then you find one listed on eBay for a hundred pounds. You think that's a massive bargain. I'm going to buy that a hundred pounds, and it turns out it's a fifty p worth fifty p. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you you can't be you can't be too careful. So do your due diligence. Do your research. Sold listings on eBay. That's the way to go. Yeah. And again, when you see what I've started adding to this, looking what I see, <laughs> so people look at sold listings. Look at all the sold listings. Oh, yeah. Don't look at the one that sold for. The way the the outline yeah, that sold for a thousand pounds. Look at look at the rest of them. If it sold a hundred times for five pounds, a one time for a thousand pounds, I give you a hint. It's not worth a thousand pounds. Yeah, because sometimes yeah. you can list it for like a thousand, and then have offers, and they might have just accepted an offer yeah. for about two quid or something, and then yeah. it will still show as a thousand pounds sold, but it has a little cost yeah. To it. It's, yeah. it's not it's not very it's not abundantly clear that that didn't actually sell for that high price. Yeah. I think it says something yeah. like best offer accepted or something so i tend to ignore those ones because they just don't really have any use <laughs> no, definitely yeah. um but the other exciting bit of news we've had a new coin release haven't we gracie we have and i know it's your video but um I, <laughs> it could be a close contender for coin of the year with the team gb that's what i'm saying okay it's uh, uh, maybe in your opinion it's good Again, team GB I, run for its money <laughs> i do really really like uh, the D-Day 50p design. I think it's a really nice design. Um, it's it, in my mind that the Team GB is in a whole league of its own. Uh, it is such a cool design on that coin. You heard uh, the my D pun, but... right? Sorry? Did you miss my pun? <laughs> I said it's giving the Team GB a run for its money. <laughs> oh, hysterical, Gracie. Hysterical. Uh, um, sorry. But no, I, I, I was I, I again would agree. I really liked this coin release. I thought it was really nice. Yeah. Uh, I was relieved when I went on the Roman website to purchase what I wanted. I got my BU, I got my silver proof. There's not a bazillion different versions of the with with and without color and whatnot. Um, there was some marketing mischief going on with the farthing in it. That uh, again with a humongous premium. So uh, that was not something I would. That's not the kind of thing I would buy on purpose. I've bought things like that in act by accident before. Um, and the one thing I was most relieved about was there was no one fortieth of an ounce gold proof version. So I merrily bought my bits, checked out, and then two hours later, um, <laughs> I get a message saying, "Oh, did you buy the one fortieth of an ounce?" And so, it wasn't there. Wasn't one there. Was there? Because I, I, I scrolled through it two or three times to check. I was almost couldn't believe there wasn't one. And it turns out the Roman did do a one fortieth of an ounce gold coin. 
um, they just didn't list it at the same time so if I wanted to buy that I'd have to buy a, pay a second lot of postage which I was a bit aggrieved at the idea of having to do um, so I haven't bought that yet but uh, we are off to the Royal Mint this weekend aren't we Grossy? We are indeed yeah, yeah. So I, I hope that they've got them in store because that I will buy one if they have one in store. <laughs> if not, I'll wait till the next coin that comes out and add it into my basket there. But uh, I can't no. buy any more of those, honestly. But I can't, get, <laughs> I can't allow myself to get addicted. I bought one, had it graded for the fun of it, and that's it, no more. <laughs> uh, but the D-Day worth the coin you've just said is potentially your coin of the year. You wouldn't want the gold one at co- one fortieth of an ounce. Did they do a Team GB one? Well, no, because no, that not yet. yet. Not yet. <laughs> uh, that one might be the one I might have to pick up. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they will do one actually, because yeah. I'm trying to think what was in the annual set that's come out. They, there R&L was a national. There, there was an RNLI one. There was a Buckingham Palace one. I think there was a National Gallery one. Yeah, there was. Yeah, so yeah, there's going to be a Team GB one, um, and probably then uh, if Churchill, uh, the rumours are Churchill won't get an individual release, which is a bit odd. Yeah. Um, but if there is an individual release, I assume it will get one of those as well. And by the end of the year, I'll have an ounce of gold in these stupid little dot coins. An ounce for the price of ten. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's a terrible investment in gold. If you're trying to invest in gold, don't buy these silly little dot coins. Uh, it's a terrible way to do it. You have to I'll sit on these for about three thousand years to make my money back. <laughs> But I like them, and that's what, that's what is also important. Yeah, um, I think where they're proof coins as well, they've got a bit more value than their Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, uh, just a reminder, as we said, we are at the Royal Mint this Saturday. Uh, two o'clock tour, isn't it, Gracie? That reminds me, I can change mine, because I've booked three, but I've, I've got to change mine now. Well, not right now, but... but you yeah. can do... Well, after the video, After Gracie. the video, <laughs> yeah. You, you got told me. off for spending too much time Googling in a previous video. So, um, yeah, so we're going to be there. If you want to come along and say hi, do feel free to. Uh, we love meeting subscribers in addition to our friends and other coin tubers that uh, come along to these trips as well. Um, the D-Day one, they, they, seems, they seem to have... I, I, I'm reticent to sort of bring it up because I think this one might fly under the radar um, because there seems to be a strike on the day D-Day coin happening that... Um, there's still quite a lot of availability on the slots for her, isn't there, Gracie? Yeah, again, without meaning to bring too much attention to it, for purposes that you were mentioning. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it seems a little bit... All I would say is it seems a little bit bizarre to announce a weekday event with 20 days' notice. People can't realistically... Especially if you, if you live in the local area, you know, yeah. within like an hour or two, such as you do, then... You can just nip down after work, before work, whatever it might be. But if you're like me and you, you, you have to realistically spend a night or, or you could probably do it in a day if you wanted to, but it would be like an eight hour day. Just drive four hours there, drive four hours back, which I probably wouldn't do actually. Um, yeah, it seems a bit silly because I, I can't go. I would have gone if it was a, a weekend or, or there was you know plenty of notice, then I, I could have had the day off and uh, been able to come down, but so be it. You're going to miss a strike on the day. This could be the only strike on the day for the year, Gracie. I know, but that's... And this could be the one that not a lot of people are coming along to, so this is going to be not, the valuable one. This is the next control. Harry and Meghan. It's not in my control. It's, I said the men have taken it out of my control. So it's uh, not like uh, I'm deciding not to go out of protest. It's just I, I don't have a choice. <laughs> yeah, and so again, we're not 100% sure on this because it, the last updates I saw, it was a little bit woolly, but I have, um, I have been told on... Good. What, what, what's the phrasing? Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. On I have good, it on uh, good, good, uh, on good authority. Good I have authority. it on good authority. Uh, it'll be the D-Day strike for that one day, the anniversary of D-Day, uh, and then we'll resume back to whatever the strike uh, currently is, or whatever it plan is planned to be on the. Oh, what's the date? The sixth of June. Yeah, June sixth. Like the know. anniversary yeah. of D-Day. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I think. In, in fearing that we've talked enough already uh, just to wrap this topic up with this strike on the day normally we get quite a bit of advance notice because it's a big trip for, and lots of people want to get down for it uh, and like Grace said it's very short notice that this is uh, this uh, event is happening um, on a weekday like Grace you've said um, the only one that I can draw parallels to is like Brexit but again it wasn't certain Brexit was going to happen because twice before it didn't happen. Yeah. So, um, whereas we've known when the D-Day anniversary is 
for almost Did 80 I? years now. So <laughs> it's not like, surprise, it's the D-Day anniversary. It's a, it's a well-known fact that that's the anniversary of D-Day. Yeah. Very bizarre. Very bizarre that that happened. Anyway, we're going to continue this video over on Grossi's channel. So if you want to uh, follow along with the conversation and see what Grossi found in his hunt, um, whether I found better coins than he did or, I found, or he found better coins than me, do check the link in the description to Grossi's video. So there we go, our finds for today. We found 36 um, 5Ps from the year 2000, which go towards my world record, which is very welcome finds. And then three from the territories. There's two from Jersey. Um, that one is 2014. This one is 1992, which is very good vintage, if I say so myself. And then this cute little one from Gibraltar, the little Barbary ape on it. So that's uh, 2012 which is nice so a decent result we found a few no undate um, undated what am i talking about no nifc ones and undated five people be very excited to find wouldn't it uh, but there we go uh, we'll have to go over to grossi's half of the video to see what he found to see whether he has found better coins than i have this week or not as usual though you'll find links down in the description of this video across to my coin collecting discord server if you want to come and join me on that You'll also find links to my other social media channels, the PO Box address if you want to write in to me, and of course a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel, the company I work for as my day job, so please check them out as well. All it leads me to do now though is thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye!